Okay, so our job here is to use the laws of logarithms and expand this thing till it can't be expanded anymore. So why don't you take a minute, pause the video and try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. So one, one approach that you could take here is to kind of explode the fraction as I, as I often do in these. Another is just to kind of follow the order of operations, which we'll try here. We'll try a different approach. So we take the log base two of, well, we have a quotient, right? We have this divided by this. And the laws of logarithms tell us that if you have the log of a quotient, a over b, you can, it's the same thing as the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So I can do that here. The log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator, x times x minus 1 times the cubed root of x minus 1. And I need one more set of parentheses there. Okay. Now, with this first thing, we can bring this exponent down in the front because of another common law that we use. If you have, let me write it over here, if you have the log of a to the c, that equals c times the log of a. So let's bring that exponent down. We have 5x minus 1 times the log, that whole thing, of base 2 of 1. Okay. Minus what? Well, it's minus this whole thing now, but we have the log of a product of these three things. And the law of logarithms that we can use there is to say the log, the log of a product equals the log of the first plus the log of the second and so on and so forth values that we're looking at. So this is going to equal the log base 2 of x plus the log base 2 of x minus 1 plus the log base 2 of the cubed root of x minus 1. Okay, now it's looking better. This first thing right here, 2 to what power is 1? Well, that's 0, so it just cancels out to 0. Then we're subtracting everything else. We're subtracting the log base 2 of x. We are subtracting the log base 2 of x minus 1. And we're subtracting 1 third because this root right here is the third root. That's an exponent that can bring in the front, right? I'm, I'm thinking of this as the log base 2 of x minus 1 to the 1 third. That 1 third is the root, bring it in the front. And we have the third of log base 2 of x minus 1. Let's see how that looks there. Okay, so we have, I think, every piece, and that is our answer. Don't forget that negative sign in the front. All right, I hope that helped.